then 7.19 suppose the circuit in exercise 7.18 has resistance of 15 ohm obtain the average power transferred to each element of the circuit and the total power absorbed so for inductor and capacitor the power is zero it implies that whatever is the power over one cycle that will be only for register and now resistance that is of 15 ohm so average power over one cycle itself is now total because for inductor and capacitor that is zero in previous example we already calculated it so p average that is i square r i calculated and r that is given to u15 substitute values you will get the answer then after 7.20 a series lcr circuit with l equal to 0 0.12 henry c480 nanofarad and r23 ohm is connected to a 230 volt variable frequency supply what is the source frequency for which current amplitude is maximum obtain this maximum value what is the source frequency for which average power absorbed by the circuit is maximum obtain the value of this maximum power for which frequencies of the source is the power transferred to the circuit half the power at resonant frequency what is the current amplitude at this frequency and what is the q factor of the given circuit now simple thing see inductor that is with inductance 0.12 henry capacitor that is with capacitance 480 nanofarad so that is 480 into 10 raised to minus 9 farad resistance r that is 23 ohm and supply voltage that is 230 volt and this is rms voltage we know this thing. now first question so in that what is the source frequency for which current amplitude is maximum now current amplitude will be maximum at resonance it implies that indirectly it is asked calculate the resonant frequency so resonant resonant frequency that is 1 upon 2 pi root lc substitute here value of l and c and you will get that resonant frequency right so at this particular frequency of source you will get maximum amplitude now at resonance xc that is equal to xl so im maximum value of the current that is vm by z but at resonance z equal to r and vm that is root 2 v so root 2 v that is 230 upon 23 resistance so i m that is 10 root 2 ampere now at resonance frequency the power so that will be i m square r because at resonance z equal to r so i m calculated 10 root 2 substituted here r that is given to you 23 and you will get the answer clear then after for which frequencies of the source is the power transferred to the circuit half the power at resonant frequency and what is the current amplitude at this frequency so we know this thing at a frequency omega 1 and omega 2 where omega 1 that is omega 0 plus delta omega omega 0 that is resonant one and omega 2 that is omega 0 minus delta omega for this frequencies in resonant curve we discussed this thing right and at that time the current that is i m by root 2 so power will be half now to calculate these angular frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 first of all we must have omega 0 as well as delta omega now we derived the equation 
delta omega that is r by 2l r that is 23 2l that is 0.12 we will get delta omega and omega 0 that is 2 pi f f resonant frequency is calculated here so now omega 0 delta omega both are calculated substitute the value of omega 0 here delta omega here we will get omega 1 this much radian per second and then substitute omega 0 and delta omega here then we will get omega 2 radian per second means for this frequency and this frequency power will be half and at that time the current that is i m by root 2 and now substitute the value of i m that we calculated here we will get current then we have to calculate q factor so q factor that is 1 upon r root l by c so 1 upon 23 l that is 0 0.12 and c that is 480 into 10 raised to minus 9 and solve this one you will get q factor clear to all of you